While our commentary is family friendly, Until Dawn is a game rated M by the ESRB. Hello everyone and welcome back to more Steven Amount Play Until Dawn. Today, it's my turn. We're back to oh, this dude. Oh, we're back to this dude. Hello again. Oh, my good friend Dr. Hill. And how are we feeling? Hmm? Good. How's the propane industry? Why? I trust that you have stayed in the company of good friends since our last session. When is this taking place? This time, we're going to try to understand the root of your anxiety. Now pick up that book, turn the pages. You will see a set of pictures and symbols. I want you to identify which image in each set makes you the most anxious. Sure. Men worry me, women worry me. Um... I don't n know? Neither and both. What about between those two specific illustrations? They're both very scary. They both worry me. Um... I'll go with men. Swipe. Oh, oh, I have to turn the page. Plain scare me, crowds scare me. Um, crowds more than planes. Turn the page. Oh God, that oh, was lights for sure. <laughs> oh, for me. Oh yeah, the, I was gonna. I looked at this and I was like, they're both awful. One is a clear winner. I have a huge immense fear of drowning. Um, I'd deal with a rat over a snake any day. Yeah, to be honest, neither of them particularly frighten me. Um, but of the two, I would rather see a rat than a snake. So I'll go with snake scare me. <laughs> Next scene. Snakes everywhere. Alright, so let's turn the page. Guns are scary. Knives are scary. Uh, guns are considerably more scary, as they will kill you from a distance uh, as opposed to a knife, which unless thrown very hard, is not going to do such a thing. Snake. Re remix. Um, I deal with cockroaches because I live in the south, and I do not fear near them. Near water. Yeah, and I live near water. Yeah, like, it's not... I do not fear cockroaches. Snakes over cockroaches. You getting all this? Clowns scare me. I fear scarecrows. Um, I'm going to be honest. Neither of those particularly bug me. Like, at all. The, like, that that's the, the guy, I can't remember his stupid name, from Twisted Metal. <laughs> and then that's the guy from... Well, I never saw the movie. Is it Jeepers Creepers that's the oh, scarecrow? I don't know. I don't know. Um, I thought oh. you were going to say Wizard of Oz, and I was like, huh. Oh. Bozo the Clown versus <laughs> Scarecrow from Wizard of Oz. I think, between the two, I think Scarecrows are more upsetting. I'd say than, clowns. Really? Yeah. I, the thing that bugs me about that is it doesn't have a face. Mm. That's the thing that is that tortures me. Gore disgusts me. Crows are scary. Oh, crows are so scary. Um, such a strange question. Oh, did I startle you? So I was not paying attention. You're doing very well. Don't be nervous. Does he scare you, or does something else? Is scare there you? more? Try to. You. Speed up a bit. The more you rely on your instincts, the more honest your answers will be, and the more enlightening you will find this experience. So you put a metronome up. Why? Snakes scare me. Spiders are creepy. Snakes. Snakes. Spiders are small. You can kill spiders without even like meaning to. I fear need. I don't fear needles. Gore. Not even at all. Just give me all the needles that you can insert into my body. Zombies scare me, scarecrow scare me. 
Uh, scarecrows over zombies. Poisonally. Once again, they don't have a face! Now, if the scarecrow had a face, it would be hard. Gore disgusts me. I fear dogs. Um, I don't fear dogs. Not at all. Uh, Gore disgusts me. I fear angry dogs. <laughs> Storm scare me. Nope. Not even a little bit. Gore disgusts me. This is very interesting. Thank you for answering so diligently. No problem. Does he remind you of anyone? Snakes, scarecrows, an awful. <laughs> the sun combination Car sounds salesman? like a good Friday night. <laughs> an actor. Oh, oh, oh. Well, I'm afraid, once again, we're out of time, but I promise we'll talk again very soon. I mean, kind of, but I'd never be able to place it. Do you have someone in mind? I can't think of the name. Yeah, I, I don't know. Bye, Dr. Hill! I got windows to look out, and you gotta transition back to the other place. So when should we meet for the, um, when should we meet for the appointment, Dr. Hill? At dusk. During the mist. Don't you guys think this is a little bit... Oh, come on. She deserves it. Hannah! What's going on? So we're getting Where's a previously it was on. Just a prank, Hannah. Even though this is all just basically happened. But this is a recap. This is helpful. No! Shut up! First off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. I really want to spend some quality time with each and every one of you and um, just share some moments that we'll never forget for, for the sake of my sisters. I need to go find Sam. Son of a bitch. So I got moved to the back and next to Josh. That's how we met. Boom. Butterfly Butter. effect. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Man, I feel like this mountain gets bigger every time I climb it. Oh yeah? That feels the same to me. Josh, Hannah, and Beth's brother. They're dead. Complex, thoughtful, loving. Complex? It's not... Probably not Come the on, word I would have used. Probably feels like it's shrinking. I guess that's true. When are you gonna install some cell towers up here? I'm getting withdrawals already. You got a spare million lying around, and I'll fix you right up. Funny you should say that. I, oh, I think I left it in my other jacket. Oops. Hey guys, get up here, okay? Yeah. Oh, well, more or less, but it is so good to see you. What's up with him? Right outside the door. He moves real quick. Wolf. Unless there's multiple ones. Pyro Wolfman. Or the yo, Pyro yo, Wolf yo! Family. You get things moving up here, or what? Yeah, man. Hey, you doing all right? I mean, I know it must be really tough without your sister. Stop. I just meant that. No, I know what you meant. You know, seriously, I'm over it. And I just I want us to have a good time, you know? Like we always used to. Damn it. It's a freaking thing. It's iced. What else? Maybe there's another way in. There are a million ways in. They're just all locked. There's gotta be like a window around the corner we can get like, get open or something. Wait a second, are you saying we should break in? <laughs> I don't think it's technically breaking in if you own the place, right? Hey, not if I don't report you. Um, <laughs> lead the way, coaches. <laughs> Josh is much more tolerable than the other people. So far I like Josh and Matt. They hey, get Ash. to live. What about Hi, Chris? Chris is okay. Doing all right? Yeah. Aside from being kind of cold and vaguely creeped out by this place. It's, it's kind of weird being back up here, huh? Yeah. Oh, I can. I'm. I am Chris. Chris is me. I am Chris. Going with Josh. See what's this? Ashley was looking pretty hot today, right? She's like a sleeper hit kind of gal, you know? Now I just want to rip that parka right off of her and make some snow angels, right? Josh moves down on the list. <laughs> she 
Jesus. Hey, cut it out, man. Yeah, I mean, if you're not gonna bang her, maybe Michael take up the case. Wait, will you back off already? Relax. Just checking to see if there's some blood flowing down there. Relax, bruh. Yeah. Listen, dude, look around you. Look at these beautiful mountains. Do you see any parents? I mean, can you imagine a more perfect, ripe scenario just dripping Whoa, Josh. with possibilities? <laughs> Whoa, you Josh. And Ashley, alone at last. You've laid all the groundwork. You've been a perfect gentleman. Now, you come in. <laughs> oh, my God. Hell. Whoa, Josh. <laughs> You've been a perfect gentleman. Now you can do whatever you want. It Disagree. gives you no idea. Lord of mercy. Oh, how can you not know? But what if it's like weird? What if she she might not like want to be friends with me anymore if I try something like that? I mean, weren't you just listening? You gotta buck up, bro. Grow up here. Lord of mercy, Josh. I mean, then they go, it's like Josh is pretty nice. I like Josh. Josh, like, hey, hey, you gotta get him down on the ground. Breaking into my parents' lodge, bud. I didn't say I had a plan. You sounded like you had a plan. You better deliver a goat cheese, or else you got Why am I goat cheese? How do you say goat cheese? And last time I checked, that's not a good way to get laid. Don't you want to get laid, goat cheese? All the best goat cheese getting laid, goat cheese. Come on, goat cheese. Oh, God. I probably have some options here. Option one is, I, is the camera pans mm -hmm. away. Clue found, axe holder. All right, bye. So that's missing. We won't talk about it. It's probably fine. Damn, I'm getting pretty low on juice here. I just gotta turn off my GPS. Well, 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 we got ourselves a thinker. Nice one. Oh, that's what you're doing? I'm moving that thing. I thought you were gonna look in it. Maybe I didn't realize it was a food this. Maybe there's a teleporter inside. Is that window open a little? Possibly. Why would you do that? We're leaving for four weeks. Let's Whee! leave a window open. Oh, I broke my back. Oh, I'm okay. Should have paid more attention in climbing class. You mean Jim? Yeah, you know, with the climbing up the rope. Whoa. Did I do that? I, I don't think so. Here, use this. What is this primitive thing? Whoa, Chris, I just got an awesome idea. Yeah? Totally. What, what, what is it? Okay, so. I'm pretty sure that I've got some deodorant in one of the bathrooms. You could use that with the lighter. I, I don't follow. How's, it, how's a stick of deodorant gonna help? Spray on. It's a can. Oh, yeah. Now I gotcha. Flamethrower. Just like we did with the little army dudes. Yep. Ones we melted. Just point the spray can in the lighter and whoosh. Bye-bye frozen lock. Bingo. All right, so you got this. I'm gonna go sort something out. You up for hunting around in the dark for a little bit? Nope, but I'll do it. Godspeed, Pilgrim. I like Josh again. <laughs> he's awful, but he's fine. Uh, all right, so let's... Oh my God, sorry. It's weird because the right stick controls my arm. <laughs> Woo! Whoa! I'm crazy arm man! Which direction should I look? I'm gonna look all the directions. Oh, good. Oh, a totem. A totem. What does the totem say about my life? Oh, yellow again. <laughs> oh, a loss. That's not yellow. Yeah, how did you conclude that that was yellow? I thought it was yellow. Let's take a look at the totems. Uh, we have a lost totem, brown. Uh, and once again, play. Wait, what the... I'm driven mad. Murderers. Apparently we're earning tapes. What I was trying to do was inspect. Found in the Washington Lodge by Chris. Alright, it'll probably be fine. It'll probably be fine. It looks like the one girl who's a big jerk. <laughs> Which one? The one that's cheating on it's... her new boyfriend with her old boyfriend. Uh, oh God. M? Emily. 
I don't remember. I think. Oh God. See, that's that's the problem. That's the problem. They're, they're, I I keep thinking of people in terms of how likable they are. So I'm like, the unlikable one. Oh God, they're all unlikable. Take this piece of paper up. Ex janitor convicted for arson. Swears revenge on movie mogul's family. That's weird. Uh, Victor. No, no, no. I wasn't done reading. I wasn't done reading you. I didn't know you had to continue to hold the. Victor Milgram, 52, was yesterday sentenced to 16 years in prison for aggravated arson committed on Blackwood Pines. Arson? Uh, Milgram was employed as the janitor of the Mountains Old Hotel for 28 years. However, when Hollywood producer Bob Washington acquired the property, Milgram was fired. In a sensational twist, the sentencing ended with an enraged Milgram screaming obscenities at Washington's heavily pregnant wife, Melinda, calling her a effing whore. He vowed to get all of you, you, your effing husband and kids, and said that he would make them suffer. Melinda had visibly struggled to maintain her composure throughout the case and later claimed that though she was upset by Milgram's threat, she had full faith in the legal system to keep her and her family safe. Hmm. So, Josh's dad, because he's Josh Washington, because mm -hmm. his, his sisters were... Beth and... Beth and... Hannah. Hannah. The, his dad bought the property, and Victor Milgram used to work there for 28 years, more than half his life, um, and then he got fired. And then he committed arson. And then he committed arson. Huh. Swears revenge on movie mogul's home. Well, well, or family. So, he really just wants Josh dead, which is probably fine. When he shows up, we'll say, well, Josh is right here. And then everyone <laughs> else will leave. We'll have one death, and then we'll be fine. Game's over. Game easy. All right. So, we learned a thing. Um, and this game is all about learning things. Uh-huh. Which is, which is kind of cool, because I, I, like, I like the lore. So, there's, like, a lore element to everything. It looks like we have to walk into this room. There's a plant. You gotta go that way. I'm making. I'm trying to make sure I don't miss anything. Like what the oil painting. The the world's creepiest oil paintings, which I think you meant to say. Something here. Huh. That's cool. Is it? Family portrait. And that's everyone. Uh -huh. That's the Washingtons. Now, are the Washington are the mother and father still alive? I don't know. They never said. Did we conclude that? I, I don't know if we learned that or not. Unfortunately, they never said. Huh? Oh, ominous noise. It? Sorry, <laughs> just, just getting my land legs. Chris is having a, lar a hard time walking because he's more focused on using his arm. See what we got in here. I'm Chris. Chris, I'm setting fire to the house. It looks never like it's supposed to be an Ansel Adams. Never seen. You have never seen arson like this before. Is this the front door? It is. Okay, so that's the door everyone's at. Hi, Chris. Very funny. Oh, how'd you know it was me? Shouldn't you be like getting the lock open or something? On it. I forgot. I'm Chris. Da, 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 oh, camera change. That's not confusing. You're supposed to be finding a bathroom. Instead, I continually raise and lower my arm. There was a glass breaking. Glasses break all the time. I mean, that light bulb burst. When have we ever needed a light? What does this do? Is that the TV? I'm glad that they let me attempt to turn it on. Apparently it doesn't do anything. I mean, to be fair, it should work, shouldn't it? I don't know. Isn't there, is there no power? There should be power. It's not working. All right, well. I was just saying, I was like, well, they, they didn't say there was not power. There should still sort of it work, right? I have no idea. I don't know. I'm walking around this big old living room. Hoping for a document. Trying to find the bathroom. There's crap here. You could light that candle and help. Well, they don't let you. Yeah, that they should. They should say, oh, would you like to increase your... your oh, there's more candles. Yeah, there's, there's candles everywhere, but they don't believe in... 
You can even swing your arm like side to side and stuff. Holy swing crap. Swing your arm from side to side. Are you singing uh, <laughs> a, the Mario. a little ditty? I am. I'm happy to hear it. I can barely tell, but I think this is a room. It's the dining room. It's the dining room. A candle! <laughs> there Another are, candle. There are candles literally everywhere. Oh, there's something here. Yes. A phone. One new message. New message. Hi, Mrs. Washington. This is Sergeant Tate again. It's bad news, I'm afraid. Yeah, we've been through the case files, and there's nothing we can do. He's a free man. We don't have the legal power to restrict his movement. Uh, I know it's not what you wanted to hear, so call me if you want to know more. End hmm. of messages. That's interesting, because... That basically confirms that that's the guy. Yeah. Because the newspaper article's like, this guy is the guy. And it's like, he might not be the guy. And then they're like, remember that guy that was the guy? He's definitely the guy. And I'm like, oh, I guess he's the guy. Prom night photo. Flip it. How do you flip it? Ready for the senior prom. Hannah, Sam, Mike, Emily. Aww. All right, bye. Oh, I thought that I could walk that way. There's, like, walls and stuff. Let me check this door. Is this locked? It's locked. It's locked, so upstairs is the only way to go? Or is there a... It's, it's really dark. Uh, I'm going to go up the stairs. I think that's correct. Because it looks like there's a room back oh, in the there. Oh, the window's open. Which window? It's on the left there. See the thing move? Well, goodness, howdy D. We need to close this, so it's not an option. All right. Bye, window. I'm going to just travel into this room, because this is the room I've decided to walk into. Am I getting closer to the the axe body no spray? I have no idea. I'm just looking for stuff. Ooh, look, a door. Bathroom? Bathroom. Bathroom. Did we find it? Holy piss. Bathroom. Inferno for men. <laughs> Honey Badger don't care. What the fuck? Ah. He just really needed some deodorant, apparently. And you hopped. <sighs> Perfect. Hopefully he didn't bite you. <laughs> Chris has rabies. We're freezing our buns off out here. Stand back. This is a wooden door. Thank you. Cut Thank, a, like, you. Thank you. I'll, I'll be here all week. Your sleeve. <laughs> <laughs> Crap, that thing freaked me out. I would not be what laughing. What was it? Are you okay? It was like a bear or a tiger or something. Oh, it was just a cute little baby Wolverine. Baby? Don't worry, buddy. You're gonna be a big boy soon. <laughs> Chris was fairly reasonable. That was frightening. Mm -hmm. That was in the home. Yeah. Home sweet home. Sweet is not the word I'd use. Oh my gosh, it's so good to be inside. Even if it's still kind of freezing in here. I'll get a fire going. This place barely looks any different. Yeah, nobody's been up here. Even with all the police coming in and out? N not a lot of action up here lately. What's up, party people? Hey! Hey! It's Mike and Jazz. Oh yeah, we gotta be reminded of this. Make yourself at home, bro. We'll do. Yeah. Come on in. Take a load off. Have whatever you want. You just take whatever you want anyway, right? Yee. Whoa. Easy there, cowboy. Hmm. Okay, so like... We should address it. If we address it, it's addressed. Yeah. Boom, shakalaka. What the hell were you doing with M out on the trail? What? I saw you and M. The telescope. Before? We just ran into each other. It's been a while, so we hugged and I said hello. Is that against the law? Okay. See, that's fine. Now, now it's out in the open. We got it all down. Right. Yeah. Duh. Sorry, it's been kind of a long day. I overreacted. Nah, man. Don't worry about it. 
Be cool. Yeah, yeah, totally. I think we smoothed that out okay. Yeah. Anything else must be smoothed out by you. <sighs> That's it for today's episode of Stephen Amal Play Until Dawn. Join us next time for another episode of Stephen Amal Play Until Dawn. When Mao plays Until Dawn. <laughs>